Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and we're here to give you a new hike this week. We're in Hobart, Indiana, at the Deep River County Park uh, to do a 2.9 mile hike today. It's uh, three loops, but more so shaped like a balloon. And uh, there's a lot of history here, and uh, we're gonna go take a stroll to the grist mill, uh, which my dad will tell you all about. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is a grist mill and I think another building, maybe a old church, but the grist mill goes back to 1837. Good. And I remember a guy named John Wood was mentioned. Yep. All right, so this thing was uh, pretty active. Apparently it was one of the best mills in the area. Uh, and the deep river, which the author continually says is not that deep. <laughs> right. But it obviously powered the mill, the grist mill. So we've, we've, we're gonna go inside. Apparently the wheels are still there, the, the grinding stones with different patterns bed that are used depending on the grain. Mark the, the patterns and the, the edges mark the different grains that are used for yeah. the different grinders, yeah. And uh, so I guess this thing lay uh, was sold a couple of times in the 19 early 1900s and then by the 1930s was abandoned and then rebuilt and picked up by the county as a museum yeah. in the 70s which volunteers still come to to and there's a wedding so this is a happening place well that's nice happy wedding well let's see if the visitor is open well I think this is one of the more scenic spots of the hike so it would be a good time to turn on. Yeah, we're right next to the parking lot, so we haven't gone far. But I guess I do want to say that the first bubble is basically around the parking lot, past the grist mill and the gazebo, and then back here. There's a the gazebo. Or there's a gazebo. Um, but we couldn't do that because of the wedding. So we're missing, so we went, you know, over there and came back this way. And now we will be following this deep river. Do you, we know, oh, it's called the Deep River. <laughs> I was gonna ask the name of the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Deep River. Deep River, okay. <laughs> Pay attention, Scott. No. Sawmill. All right, so this is, anyway. yeah, yeah. Okay. This is what I was talking about. Uh, the last hike with all the hydropower that I'm reading, the history of hydropower in Switzerland and all the different um, industries that can be powered by a uh, water wheel. So this was a sawmill, how cool. And so what I gathered was, yeah, so, so here would be the main turbine. This would go out to the water wheel on the river. I assume the river was a little closer than this when this was in action. And so you got your up and down action with the blade and then you gear it to also have a conveyor belt action to push the log through. So you have two, two primary actions here. And I assume you could probably do a third, which is lifting the next log or the last two logs in place. Maybe uh, there's a back and forth gear. That would be pretty spectacular to have be able to go back and forth. I guess I'm not as strong as the deep river. Oh, uh, no. Pictures being taken across the way. Of us? Oh, the wedding oh, party. Us. All right, well, let's get off this thing. Let's stay ahead of the wedding party. So if you spin around with your 360, you'll see the bride. making our way along and the trail is kind of unique I feel like we're going through mud and sand and uh, clay and horse poop and horse poop this is definitely a track for horses as well uh, we just came underneath the train bridge which led to our third split in the path doing the top loop now we've lost sight of the river hmm. 
Okay, we are at Sulky, the Sulky Track. Deep River RC Flying Field. Please keep motorbikes, horses, and cars to the outside edge of the field. So people are really driving cars? I guess. There's a windsock over there, so that helps for the RC planes and a windmill. So this is a complete, and now for something completely different. We've come off the river, we went up the dirt road to this track. I assume we just keep walking over here to my left. Huh. You know, it's always so strange. We're just like in the middle of northern Indiana walking through a field. You know, it's just so strange. How do you tell anybody where you were? What? How do you tell anybody where you were? Ah, yeah. well, we were in a field. Yeah. By oh, a, God damn, is it enjoyable? By a small river. That's cool. Love to have an ATV and or a dirt bike. And, uh, ride that field. Yeah, it's just a field, though. Wouldn't you get bored after the second lap? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then I'd go to another field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's over here. Well, if you're still watching and you plan on coming on this hike, this is probably good information. First, let's find the trail. No, you have to open that phone. Damn. Oh, the ground is, we got something underneath the ground. Okay, this is the trail. Something under the ground? Yeah, tremors. That's plastic. Oh, that was fun, what a great, COVID series, movie series to watch. <laughs> uh, for those of you watching, if anybody's watching, let them know. I watched all of the Tremor movies last summer, one through seven or something like that. Holy cow. Way too many movies for a series. Way too many movies. Each one in glorious dysfunction. I'm proud to be part of the few that have watched all of those movies. <laughs> Alright, well we're back on the path now. This is what it looks like. You should get a tremor tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think you can get the detail enough to indicate that it's a tremor. Oh. That always leads to bad misunderstandings. Oh. We are. Okay, we're at the end of our hike today at Deep River. Deep River. Thank you. Somebody had to remember it. And it's going to be about 3.6 miles, which is more than the 2.9 miles that the book said. So finishing with 3.6 miles in about an hour and a half. Yeah. We did three loops, and like I said before, there's a lot of different terrain here. You're walking over dirt mud clay uh roots farm field farm field and uh sand so bring your boots this is not entirely easy and yeah but it was interesting i mean there was a lot of changes lots of changes that's that's actually one thing i really enjoy about hikes and I would definitely get here early enough to go into the building here, the grist mill, because I think that's something that we missed. Unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Another hike in the can. Boom, boom. We'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>